We're at Joe Wanamaker's Tulsa Gun Show, the world's largest gun show. Only about, I think, 17,000 or so of these are made. There are not a lot of them out there. The Werder is, is literally an asterisk to a footnote in history. Do those values surprise you on these? Somewhat. Well, a lot of people at home have got to be wondering, what exactly is a shoots and rifle? The Sharps begin life as a percussion Civil War era carbine. I think they're darn nice Christmas yeah, presents. Yeah, sounds like he had a better Christmas. Than yeah. <laughs> Guns have shaped our history for hundreds of years. We're telling the stories of Americans. Each firearm has a unique tale to tell. This is a gun that won World War II. Oh, man. Join evaluators Jim Sapika and Phil Schreier as they experience the disappointment. Rarity doesn't always mean valuable. And the excitement. Unbelievable. As everyday gun owners discover the true value of their prized possessions on NRA's Guns and Gold. We're here at the Tulsa Arms Show, and KG, you brought in a group of beautiful brass frame Winchesters. Tell me a little bit about where these came from. They're a lifetime collection. You brought them here for the gentleman. He wanted to learn a little bit more about them and, and uh, think about what he might do with them at some point in time. True. What you have here is you have uh, uh, some of the most popular guns for collectors, some of the most historic guns, guns with a real strong connection with the American West. These are the brass frame Winchesters, and you start with the Henry here, which is the uh, lever action uh, rifle. Uh, these were actually produced uh, during the Civil War from 1860, uh, clear up past the Civil War to 1866. Only about, I think, 17,000 or so of these are made. There are not a lot of them out there. But as kind of the first Winchester rifle, so to speak, with the, the Henry design improvements from the Volcanic, a uh, very, very significant gun. It's chambered for the 44 rim fire. This one is beautifully engraved, has a lot of original finish on it. 1866, Winchester stopped this model and introduced a, a new model. The uh, Model 1866, and you can see some of the obvious differences here. The 1866 models have the wood forend, whereas the Henry has no wood forend, and uh, they also have the loading gate on the side of the frame to load the cartridges through, whereas the Henry does not. Now, these are also chambered for the 44 rimfire cartridge. This model, the 1866, was produced almost up to the turn of the century. They were discontinued in 1898 with a little over 170,000 made. They're called the Yellow Boy because of the yellow brass frame, uh, very valuable and very sought after by collectors. This is a third model 1866 rifle. This is a third model 1866 musket, and it has a little bit longer barrel and also the longer wood on it, the longer forend is indicative of the musket with the uh, barrel bands on it. And this is a late production fourth model rifle. Now, have you done any, any checking in on the value of these? Uh, not really. I guess the bad news is I'm told that the market in brass frame for Henry's is down a little bit. They may not be quite as popular as they were a few years ago. The good news is I think you've got some very good, very desirable guns here that are going to bring uh, uh, good money. Certainly a good venue for these would be in a specialty gun auction. Now, if you go that route, I think the uh, this is the fourth model rifle. I think this is probably going to bring 10 to 20,000 at auction. Very nice gun. It's been cleaned a little bit, but it appears to be a good, honest gun. Uh, just nice, uh, well-used, honest condition. You can see that it's the round barrel as opposed to the octagon barrel on some of the others. The musket is a rarer model. They made many fewer muskets than they did rifles and carbines, but they don't seem to have quite the same collector interest. So on this gun, I think you're going to be uh, about in that same value range, right in that uh, ten dollars to $20,000 value range on the musket. 
Now we got something a little special going on this rifle here, and that is the engraving. This is a very beautiful engraving. Uh, I would suggest that you have this rifle looked at by an expert, but to me this looks like absolutely straight uh, factory engraving probably, certainly period engraving. Uh, beautifully done. It does show a little bit of, of wear, but overall it's a very nice condition gun. And uh, I think with, uh, with the engraving on this, the great overall appearance, I think you're going to probably better uh, better than double those values. I think you're probably getting in the twenty-five to thirty-five, forty thousand dollar range with this particular gun. This Henry, in addition to being a very desirable model, has a couple of really great things going for it. First and vitally important with any antique gun, especially one of this age, is the original condition. Now you look at this barrel, usually on a Henry the barrel has gone brown with age or worse yet somebody has cleaned it or worse still they've tried to refinish it. Those will kill the value on a gun. To me this looks to be the original bright blue and a whole lot of it left. Also on the brass frame you see quite a bit of silver finish remaining, even more on this side and you can see the silver there, it's been lightly cleaned, but it's tarnished in protected areas. The light cleaning on that doesn't bother me. A heavy cleaning of that silver would be a, a bad idea. So that's just about perfect condition as it is. I would call this certainly a uh, high find, the excellent condition gun. And the other thing you have going is this beautiful period engraving. It's the scroll engraving on this side. Uh, beautifully executed, certainly uh, proper for Winchester factory engraving. And the other side includes a scene of a dog. And again, you can see the beautiful silver finish remaining, but the dog panel scene with the, uh, with the scroll engraving, that also bumps the gun up considerably in interest and value. Now this gun particularly I would suggest having inspected by an expert in Winchester engraving to confirm the, uh, the era of the engraving, confirm that it's original and also see if you can identify the engraver. But to me it looks absolutely straight, absolutely honest. And this gun I think you're looking more in the seventy-five dollars to $100,000 range. And at a, a competitive auction it certainly has the potential to go up from there. They're, uh, they're a beautiful group of guns. I appreciate you bringing them in, very historic guns. Do those values surprise you on these? Somewhat. Well, I wish your friend the best of luck with these, and I appreciate getting to take a look at them. Thank you. Thank you.